So here are people and welcome back again on another video made by Swiss RC World and today we're gonna talk about uh, lithium polymer batteries which are often used in the RC world. Right here you can see some different batteries and now I'm gonna explain to you what the difference between those are and what they are used for. This one, uh, the brand of this one is Nanotech the, from Hobby King from Turnergy more exactly. And here you can see 3.3, which means it has a 3300 milliamp hour capacity. This means if you pull 3.3 um, uh, amps, you can pull 3.3 amps for one hour. So this is the capacity. Here you see two 2200s, also from Turnage and from Sippy. Then you see a 500 milliamp hour and a 460 milliamp hour. The next thing you maybe noticed is the C rating. Here you can see 3300 milliamp hours, 25 to 50 C discharge. <coughs> this means that you can, um, there are two dis, uh, C ratings, and they mean that you can pull uh, 25 times the capacity for a long time until the battery is uh, empty or you can pull 50 times um, the capacity uh, for about 10 seconds this is called the burst and on, the, on this battery it's exactly the same here you see 20C which means you can pull 20 times 2.2 uh, amp hours and this means you can pull uh, 44 amps for constant so for a long time till it's finished but um, f uh, with these Hobby King batteries I would not always trust the C ratings because uh, sometimes they could be overrated which means that you're gonna destroy your battery <coughs> the next thing are the cells uh, you don't see them right here in this moment um, but here uh, you can see it the best those are uh, three uh, lithium polymer cells and what this means uh, one cell has a voltage of about uh, 3.7 volts and these uh, four batteries are all um, three cell which means they have 11.1 volts and this one right here is a very lightweight one for my uh, little indoor 3D plane it's just a two cell which has 7.4 volts so uh, these uh, cells are uh, soldered together and they all have a balance plug and I'm, I'm gonna come to this one later this one is just to charge and this one is to discharge and this one is the one you connect onto your plane the next subjects are uh, the connectors here you can see some of the connectors and I sorted them from how many amps and volts you can draw from them uh, this one has the biggest amount and this one the least so this one right here you can see here is um, a 4.5 millimeter bullet connector uh, these bullet connectors are in here they are gold plated and with these you can pull about 150 amps this one right here is exactly the same uh, system but just with uh, 3.5 millimeter uh, connectors and with these you can pull about uh, 80 amps I think the next uh, probably the most popular if you like Hobby King are the XT60s and um, these connectors work uh, pretty well for me I use them on all my batteries as you can see right here except for this one for this one I use JST but I'm, con I'm gonna come to that next uh, with these you, uh, they tell you you can pull about uh, 60 amps uh, but some people pull like uh, I don't know 120 amps with them and they work just fine then another quite popular one is the Dean's T connector. And you can see the T right here. And they are just exactly the same system, but just with um, two not round uh, connections, but flat connections. And then the last one is the JST connector. And you can see the one on the battery is quite thin. And the other one, the one for the ESC, goes around. But um, what sucks about these connectors is 
you first have to solder uh, your cable to these pins and then when you've soldered it you can insert these pins into the connector and this takes a lot more time than just uh, putting solder on for example an XC60 and just uh, melting it, holding the cable in and you're done so that's that's uh, one drawback of these also uh, they connect quite hard and you have to pull a lot and also on these you use thin cables as you can see here and it's possible that you rip them apart because you have to pull uh, so hard this red back in the back right here is a lipo safe bag as you can see and you might have heard about lipos are dangerous some people say they are really dangerous but I don't think they are too dangerous when you uh, work right with them if you use them the right way and so on but I although got one just to put my batteries in also for storage and for charging because now I have my uh, charger which you can see right here uh, down and not in my room anymore so I need something to protect them and what this is it's just you can see some other batteries in here uh, this material here is um, fire resistant and if one of these lipos would burn or when all of these would burn it could easily uh, burn down a house or something and with this lipo safe pack it's not going to be the case and also uh, I just bought it just to um, just to have a bag in which I carry around all my batteries because as you can see they are quite a lot <coughs> Then a, a difference for the usage of these batteries is uh, is visible right here. You can read on this one 20C, which means you can pull 44 amps, and here about uh, 1C or 1 1.5, which which means you can pull 2.2 amps only for a constant time. And what this is, this is the battery for my um, Tonichi 9 xr right here. And uh, these batteries uh, do not have to deliver a whole lot of power um, for my transmitter because it doesn't need too much but uh, 1.5 C rating also helps the battery not to discharge itself as fast as it would on a 20 C so the 20 C is for your plane and the 1.5 to 2 or 3 C is for your transmitter or for your receivers if you have gas planes on the bottom here you can see uh, two different types of cables this one right here is called a series connection a connection in series and this one is called a parallel connection and uh, the difference is not the connectors here I have Dean's T connectors and here XT60 uh, the difference is with this one if you have if you don't have enough capacity with one of these for example and you know you don't want to buy um, one that is two times as big you can just uh, connect one battery here of these and one of these here and you will have double the capacity and the same voltage uh, with these um, with this parallel adapter what he does uh, the red from the two batteries so the plus goes to the plus uh, of the speed control and the black or the minus goes to the minus of the speed control that's pretty easy to do then the other thing if you have uh, 3S LiPos as I have but you need 6S for like very big planes you can plug in uh, one battery to this one and one battery to this and this connector goes to the ESC so then what you're gonna have uh, you're gonna have uh, the same capacity so still 3.3 amps on this one but you're gonna have uh, the uh, two times the amount of cells so out of two three cells you get six cells which is then rather than 11.1 .1 volts it's 22.2 .2 volts another thing which is quite important is how to store your batteries for example in a winter break or something as just some time when you're not gonna fly a lot and do not try to store them longer than one month fully charged so if you don't fly a week you don't have to to do it correctly but if you don't fly like as I said in winter for like three or four months I just I just uh, turn on the storage mode on your charger and it will discharge uh, the battery 
uh, so to somewhere between 50 and 70 percent of the capacity. And then uh, if you if you store the batteries uh, with the full capacity, so if I store this uh, LiPo with 3.3 uh, amp hours uh, in it for like six months, uh, it will it will get bigger and bigger, and it will it could be that it blows up, but uh, also the voltage will uh, drop even faster than uh, when it's used, even faster than uh, than before and it's just not good for the batteries too so just don't do it and now uh, another very important thing is how to charge them here I got a charger here you can see the, uh, the power supply which converts the 230 volts which come out of my house into uh, 13 volt which this one needs and what I'm gonna show you now is how you can charge your lipo battery or actually we always balance them because you have uh, where is it you have three cells and the three cells uh, are gonna have to have the same voltage and the same capacity so that uh, always balance your light posts if they are over one cell and uh, one cell you cannot balance but over one cell always balance them so I'm gonna show you now how to balance them in a close-up look so here's a close-up look uh, from the battery charger. I'm going to charge my Eternity 500mAh 3-cell battery. And here you can see the, the voltage regulator or the power supply. So first you're going to have, you're going to need a charging cable, which is, uh, I believe, 4mm banana connectors to your favorite connector. And this one here is going to be the connector you have on your ESC and under battery you have uh, the one that just plugs right in there so plug this one in to, uh, correct, to plus and minus then on your charger you're gonna choose um, LiPo other, or I think LiPo mode and what you're gonna do you're gonna click on stop or battery type battery type once again LiPo battery you're gonna uh, press enter then here you see the men on the menu LiPo charge but we want to balance the lipo so we're going to click next and you can see balance mode other things you could do fast charge which is not good as well storage which which discharges your battery to 50 uh to 70% of its its capacity and also discharge if you want to and we're going to go ba uh, balancing the battery so this battery is a 500 milliamp 3 cell so I'm gonna click start and I want to charge it at a 1C rate which means I'm gonna charge it at 0.5 amps so I'm gonna click if you click start uh, your your numbers will start blinking and the one which is blinking is gonna change and on this charger I can charge 3S, 4S, 5S, 6S um, and 2S lipos so enter 0.5 for this battery and 3s or 11.1 volts and click enter again then we're gonna connect our discharge connector to uh, to our other discharge connector on our charger and then we're gonna connect the balance plug to the to the right um, balance port on your charger and uh, keep in mind that uh, a 3S battery does not have um, three wires, it has four. It always has a plus for each cell, so plus for one cell 1, plus for cell 2, plus for cell 3, and also the minus for all three is together. We're going to plug that in in the middle where the 3S is, and then we're going to click start um, for, uh, for a long time, and then something like this should come up. Uh, it says confirm enter and we're gonna click start and now it's gonna charge our battery so due to the reason that uh, this battery is already nearly fully charged um, it's not gonna do anything right now uh, to stop it just play stop uh, just push stop like this and you're done uh, what you wanna do afterwards is disconnect your batteries
and you can uh, buy a cell checker this is a cell checker and if you don't trust your uh, your uh, charger as I do because it's a China product uh, you can buy one of these and what these do when you plug them in cell number one cell number two the voltage and cell number three the voltage and the voltage of all of them together so number one four number two four number three four that's good and um, the all up voltage should be about between 12.4 and 12.6 when they are fully charged so this this is just a handy little tool to have and also if you're on the flying field and you don't know anymore um, which lipo is charged and which is not just plug this in right now and I don't I think I don't have uh, uncharged lipo right now but then <coughs> it will show you a voltage which is uh, pretty much about around 3.7 volts uh, for each cell so 3s would be like under 11 mostly and so on So then guys, I finished uh, the first part of our uh, basic series, which was uh, LiPo batteries. I hope you enjoyed it, and a little tip uh, for the end. Uh, go buy your batteries from a place like Hobby King, or just a place where they are really cheap, because uh, when I buy a battery like this on Hobby King, this costs about $20, let's say $20, plus about 5 shipping or something. And if I buy them in, Su in Switzerland, like the e-power lipos or Scorpion lipos, they cost about a hundred bucks or something. So they are about four times cheaper at Hobby King. And I have to say, these batteries are actually pretty darn good for the pr or not not just for the price. They also I think they can compete with um, with the, for example, Thunder Power or e-power or Scorpion lipo packs. So, and also, if you have an airplane which uses 500 milliamp lipo, uh, do not hesitate to buy like four of these because I use these ones for my quad, and I have three more here, so I can fly like four times as long as I could uh, with only one battery. And also, uh, this charger is uh, the IMAX B6. I bought this one particularly in Switzerland because. Uh, in Switzerland we have another plug on our wall than in the USA or UK or anywhere else in the world so I bought it in Switzerland with uh, the corresponding power supply but um, this IMAX B6 is available at Hobby King but I think an even better charger from Hobby King would be the Eternity AccuCell 6 which can charge as w uh, just as this one 2s to 6s lipos and that's I think up to 5 amps or something that's a really good charger my friend uh, at the neighbor's house uses it and he actually got two of those so they have to be real great and I'd like I'd like to thank you for watching and please subscribe if you haven't already this series is gonna go on uh, the next um, subject is probably gonna be about ESCs and motors so look forward to that, subscribe if you haven't already and have a nice day. Bye.